Hello, and this is a video on question 4, 2020 Mechanics A2, and it's a wonky moments question again. So, let's have a look at this, and by the look of it, it's a ladder question. Now, just a quick point about this diagram. This is round, and so this normal reaction needs to go like this. Now, this is an Excel paper, but I have seen an uh, OCR paper before, where they did a ladder problem, and it was like this, yeah? And they just put it like poking out on the top of a fence and a lot of people were drawing a normal reaction like that because they were like oh this is a flat wall i'm going to draw a normal reaction like that because whenever it's against a flat wall like that the normal reaction comes out like that if you see what i mean like uh, but that's not right you've got to think of uh, the fence as a lip and so i guess this is why at excel have shown it as a little round thing just to make sure you get the reaction going the right way which is how it should be on a fence like that if it's just poking at a fence imagine it's like a lip and it's going to be perpendicular to the fence um, so yeah worth pointing that out I think at the start now uh, let's start putting our forces on uh, you know what I'm like with these questions I'm pretty slapdash I don't read enough of the blurb you should do <laughs> don't get me wrong uh, but really you can start getting your forces on quite early on when you've done a few of these questions before so I'm going to put um, a normal reaction at A, I'm going to ask, is the ground smooth or not? Is it rough? Rough horizontal ground, so I need a friction, F. Um, I'm guessing the thing at C is smooth. Let's have a look. A smooth horizontal rail at C, yeah, perfect. So that's why I'm going to draw that at an angle like that. And if that's alpha, by the way, well, anyway, we'll do that in a second. Um, so we've got N and F down here. We've got that up there. Um, I think point C is 4A above the ground. Um, okay, that's interesting, right? And this is 6A long, but do we know the distance from A to C? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Can I add that to the diagram? No, no. Unless I'm missing something. Let me have a quick look. Vertical plane containing AB is perpendicular rail. Ladder is inclined. Sine alpha is four fifths. That's an annoying one. Sine alpha is four fifths because, oh no, it's not so what we're talking about. It's the obvious one. Cos alpha will then be three fifths and tan alpha will be uh, four thirds. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering how I know that, draw a little triangle out put alpha in there sine alpha is four over five this is a three four five triangle and therefore cos alpha is three fifths and tan alpha is four thirds so always worth doing the prep work in these questions curve friction of friction between the ladder and the ground is mu well, let's actually write down just mu underneath here we might need to find that and the ladder's in equilibrium, limiting equilibrium, so force is balanced, but it's about to slip, and friction is at a maximum. That's what that means. The ladder is modeled of a uniform rod using the model, showing that the magnitude of the force exerted on the ladder by the rail at C is 9mg over 25. Okay, right, um, let's, let's, let's have a go at this. Uh, this is worth 3, and it says hence or otherwise find the value of mu, which is worth 7. This means that this one I might be able to get by doing lefty, righties, uppy, downies, but I might also need uh, to take moments let's try and work out what we're going to need to do now what haven't i put on this diagram um surely the mass of the actual uniform ladder is it uniform uniform rod yet yeah. so let's get that on that's a big emission <laughs> ah yeah so then i do know that that has that's 3a can i say that that is 2a am i missing something in the question here uh no ah oh, yeah yeah I, <laughs> yeah um did they say sine alpha was four fifths? So sine alpha, look at this, it's obvious now. Sine alpha is four A over five A because it's four fifths, and therefore this is going to be two A, this is going to be A. So this kind of prep work, before you've got any marks as well, I've got no doubt this will get me no marks yet, but it's so crucial to getting the question right, just getting as much on the diagram as possible. Let's call this R, by the way, that contact force out there. But yeah, you need to do the prep work for these questions. You need to draw the diagram. I need to do things like this. Like that's bound to come in handy when I take moments, letting me know that that's alpha. Um, this is mg. I put that one as well. That's poor labeling. Um, and I think now I've got everything that I need. And the first question is, find the magnitude of force exerted on a ladder by the rail at C, or show that it is 9 mg over 25. Um, this is this force here, R. So we need to find R. Um, really to do that, the natural way would be yeah, to take moments at A. Yeah, so let's do the bit which is the moments equation, which is normally the hardest bit in some ways. 
the students find it hard. Uh, okay, imagine this is like, you know, imagine you're holding a pencil at A and you push it in that direction. It will turn like that. Whereas if you push the pencil, holding it at A in that direction, it will turn like that. So let's equate those directional moments. Moments at A, we're going to have 3A, that's the distance, but by a perpendicular component of the force, mg cos alpha. I personally don't like swapping these for numbers like in the original equation I wrote down either. And I'll tell you why. It's because firstly, not swapping them, normally you actually get the marks anyway. <laughs> and B, you can easily find your mistakes in, you know, if you've uh, muddled a sign with a cos, <laughs> which is worth doing. Equals 5A times by R. OK, you can see that the A's are going to cancel. And that cos alpha was 3 fifths. And so we're going to have 3 mg multiplied by 3 over 5 equals 5r. OK, if we divide the 5 over, we're going to have 9 mg over 25, which I hope is what they required. I can't remember now. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, 9 mg over 25. We've shown it. There we go. R is 9mg over 25. Hence, or otherwise, find the value of mu. OK, have we taken moments? Yes, we have. In which case, we can do everything else with lefty righties, uppies, and downies. So let's go. Get these equations right, and you're going to get a question right. That's the way I see it. OK, let's try and figure out what this is as a lefty righty. Now, if that's alpha, then, you know, how would I do this? Um, I might even do it down here. Let's draw a line which would be perpendicular to R down here. Yeah. So it's perpendicular to R. In other words, this is a right angle. Yeah. Well, that's going to be 90 minus alpha. And therefore, that's going to be alpha. Yeah. Because that's another right angle. Now, looking at this compared to this, um, we can now see that. Uh, <laughs> can we see that? Yeah. OK. Yeah. <laughs> this angle here, it's just not clear on my diagram. I'm going to draw this slightly neater. Slightly more precise, I hope. If I do it right from that point there, can you see that that angle there is going to be exactly the same as that angle here? Yeah, it's the same, exactly, it's corresponding angles. It's two lines going through. Uh, this one corresponds to this one, this one corresponds to this one around here, the 90 minus alpha, etc., etc. So that's going to be alpha. Yeah, so what have we got for our lefty righties? We've got um, OK, let me get rid of some of the weird arrows I drew to try and explain why that's alpha. That's weird. OK, right, we've got R sine alpha going to the left. We've got F going to the right. Uppy downies. We've got N plus R cos alpha equals mg. And remember, what are we looking for here? We're looking for, well, it might have been helpful if I called this one R and this one M, because F max equals mu N in this case. And this is what's going to help me find the value of mu. OK, um, so, and this F is F max, obviously. All my frictions are at maximum, so I don't even have to write it down, really. But I like to remind myself sometimes friction is at a maximum. That's because it's in limiting equilibrium. equilibrium. OK, so what have we got here? So F is going to be equal to 9mg over 25 times by sine alpha, which was, was it 3 fifths or 4 fifths? I've forgotten. Uh, 4 fifths, it says it up here, 4 fifths. Uh, so 4 over 25, 4 over 5 is going to be 36mg over 125. OK, right, that's fine. That's F. Um, now we'll find N. N is going to be equal to mg minus R, which is 9mg over 25 times by, well, sine alpha is four-fifths, I guess cos alpha is three-fifths. OK, that gives me mg minus uh, 27 mg over 125. So I guess that's 98 mg over 125. Let me just check what that out, right? 125 minus 27, yeah. <laughs> OK, so what is mu? Mu is going to be equal to uh, F over N. And so the 125s cancel, the MGs cancel, and you're left with 36 over 98, 
which is the same as 18 over 49. And so that is mu in exact form anyway. Um, and so otherwise find the value of mu. Um, I'm just going to quickly check my answer because uh, these things can go wrong and I'll probably do the whole video again and pretend it never happened. But <laughs> let's just quickly check. Uh, this was question four. And where is the answer? 18 over 49. Is that what I had? It sounds familiar. 18 over 49. Yes, 18 over 49. There we go. Uh, I hope that question was useful. Keep up with the uh, mechanics wonky moments questions. If I was you, if I was thinking, how do I get good at this topic? The answer is simple. You do loads more questions. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you find those questions from? Old M2, Edexcel, past papers. Um, or use the other, uh, you know, if you're doing Edexcel, use OCR and AQA from the last three or four years. Just use their recent papers. Like They're all good moments questions. They really are. And once I think with the mechanics, it can seem really weird at first, but it's because you haven't done enough questions. Do more questions. If you do a few of these, they start getting really samey. Okay, uh, keep up with hard work. Bye-bye.